Fishing accessories. For some people, fishing is a pastime. For others among us, it is a serious sport. However you perceive it, fishing is enjoyable when you've got the proper accessories to use. Here is a list of some considerations to think over. Often there is a nice spot to fish from the shore of a pond, lake, stream or river. Other times, you will need to consider what kind of transportation you will need to get over the water. The canoe is the oldest craft. It is the traditional vehicle of the American Indian and has great traditional value, but that does not mean it is the best kind of water transportation available. A canoe can be tippy at the best of times and especially hard to handle in the wind but paddling or drifting along makes it easy to approach good spots to fish undetected. A small rowboat without a motor is considered the best kind of boat to use since you can stand up in it to cast. Although it is best to row to the spot where you intend to fish, a small trolling motor is handy for traveling some distances. Larger pleasure boats with outboards are also recommended, but a boat with high sides is best as big lakes and broad rivers are prone to winds that can whip up big waves. You will also need to pick out some quality footwear. This becomes especially important if you are going to fish by the side of a lake. Hip boots are the most practical for this as they can be rolled down if you're not wading. While hip boots can also be used for stream wading, chest or hip waders are traditionally best here. When choosing chest or hip wader boots, select ones that have a loose fit. Having waders that are too tight could restrict leg motion and undue stress on the seams could leave you wet. The proper jacket is also a necessity. Jackets come in two basic lengths, long and short. The long style is designed for fishing from a boat or wading in shallow water. If you are planning to use chest waders, it is recommended you use a short jacket since the bottom of a long jacket would drag in the water. You should select a jacket with generous pockets for carrying lure boxes and other accessories. A hat with a visor is another good idea because you will have your eyes on the water and need some kind of shade. The avid angler has three stashes of lure and tackle box containers. The first stash is for the home stockpile, the second and larger one for the boat, and a third stash is for the car. That way, you will always be covered in the event of a loss or other mishap. It is a good idea to buy a large supply at the beginning of the season too so you will have lots on hand, especially if you like to fish at night. With the right fishing accessories and gear, you can turn your fishing experience into a better one. The last thing you want when the time for that perfect catch nears is to realize you are missing an important piece of equipment. Preparedness is among the most important aspects of fishing, so make sure that you have all of the gear you need to have the best experience of your life. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on new videos. Help us by leaving a comment to tell us what you would like to see and experience. Help us to grow the channel for your viewing pleasure. Please return to see if we made what you asked for in the comments. We're not making videos for us, but for you the YouTubers. So please help us by sharing our videos with family and friends. Thanks for watching.